hi everyone welcome to my may vlog it's may 1st so it's the start of a new month a month that we will still be in shelter in place so it'll be similar to my last month's vlog probably a lot of cooking and cleaning and mostly just cooking but i'll try to show some more interesting things um today i wanted to show you guys my lunch as you know i've been since we are here at home i have to make lunch for hui and i so this week we are doing soba salad uh unfortunately i wish i had filmed last a few a few days ago because even though it wasn't it wasn't may yet um the best salad i think to use with the soba salad is more of like a romaine lettuce but all i have left is um spinach if you want to go with the original recipe then you should probably use romaine lettuce but yep so i'm gonna go make my lunch now and then show you guys how i do a soba salad which is pretty simple it's basically a take on a regular salad but just adding some soba noodles these are my ingredients i have my soba persian cucumbers and avocado my leftover tofu if you don't know how to store tofu after you open it you should change put it in water and change out the water every day and then spinach but again if you wanted to follow the regular recipe romaine lettuce is probably better so i'm gonna cook the soba arrange all the ingredients oh and the other important thing is this ginger dressing from the asian grocery store which adds a lot of flavor so first spinach or lettuce and cucumber or the Persian cucumbers and tofu avocado I'm gonna pour some of the dressing all right I'm gonna cook my soba now boiling water. So I'm going to season the soba noodles with a bit of soy sauce, sesame oil, and then a little more of the dressing because the soba by itself is pretty plain and it tastes better when you season it rather than putting it in the salad and tossing it because I feel like the flavor didn't transfer that well last time I tried that. Soy sauce. flavors together let's give it a taste test I'm gonna try to grab a little bit of everything so soba noodles salad avocado cucumber The soba adds a nice flavor and texture to the salad. Happy Saturday, everyone. Today's one of those cleaning days, so I'm gonna go clean the house. We're gonna do some laundry, we're gonna wash the sheets and the towels, and just get some stuff done today.
Now that I've cleaned everything, I am going to do a little unboxing. I actually bought some of my first Majuri uh, jewelry and I have been sort of eyeing Majuri for a while. If you guys don't know the brand, it's pretty popular. Um, and I really want some small gold hoops for my second hole. And even for my first hole, I mean, I can wear them anywhere because they're very like, they're very subtle and chic and small. And so I ordered them and they came already. Look at this card. Very nice. It comes in this little bag. Very nice packaging. The way these work are that they're actually single hoops, so I had to buy two of them because I obviously have two holes. Um, I think a lot of people, if they have like one earring or they have one here, they, they kind of just use that as, as, a, as like a second or third or fourth whatever piercing. So yeah, I'm excited to try these out. I'm gonna try it too. So you just like snap it off like this. And then I guess put it in your ear. <laughs> uh, I, I need to use this as a mirror because I can't see. Sorry, my ear is kind of red, but this is what it looks like. So I just paired these with my favorite Madewell who gold hoop earrings and they look so good. I feel like those typical influencers or like people who wear like the double hoops. I really like how small they are. Got Indian food for takeout. This is one of our favorite Indian places in the world because it's really good and pretty cheap for the amount of food that you get. It is spicy though, so I am barely gonna survive this, but they only have one level of spice. These little guys are keeping me company while I work. Mm -hmm. He's making ribs. Friday afternoon, which usually means I make tea for the next day because Saturday is when we have boba at home. So I'm gonna show you guys how I make my tea. I've tweaked it a little bit from the first time I showed this recipe and I learned a few things after making it several times. I'm going to boil some water. Now something I realized is I used to brew the tea in my boba uh, tumbler, but I realized the reason why the tea wasn't that strong was because I had too much water for the same amount of leaves Whereas usually the recommended is for a normal cup, which is probably like eight ounces, maybe a little less or more. So now I brew it in this cup, which is smaller, and then I pour it in here. And because this is like 24 ounces, 24 ounces, it really takes about two of these cups. So that means my tea will be much stronger and better tasting. Been three minutes. So now I will drain the water. Look how deep and dark that brew is. But I'll keep the leaves for my next steep. And then I'll put this in there. You can tell it only filled up like half of this cup. Whereas normally I would have used this much water for the same amount of tea leaves. 
So now I'm going to brew it one more time. smoothie for lunch. <laughs> Made kale chips. Sorry I'm wearing such a heavy jacket, but it's because I'm freezing since I had that smoothie. But I'm going to try some of the kale chips. We had a lot of leftover kale, so this is how we decided to eat it. Uh, I'm not with you, sorry. I just hope you get the orb, so... Raise, raise on top, babe. Another week, another lunch. This week, I'm making these toasted sandwiches with chicken, cheese, lettuce, and a homemade garlic aioli that we made. So I'm gonna go show you guys how I assemble that sandwich. I've already cooked the chicken the night before, and so all I have to do is slice and reheat it. So let's go. So I think the aioli is really what makes the dish because it just adds a lot of flavor and moisture. It's pretty easy. It's just mayonnaise, chopped garlic, a little bit of lemon juice and pepper. So it's simple and easy to make so you don't have to buy your own jar, it's expensive if you have a lot of the ingredients at home. I have my cheddar cheese, I have lettuce. This is the chicken I've already cooked. And then for bread, I have this nine grain sourdough. I wanted whole wheat but they didn't have it, but I like sourdough for toasted sandwiches. These are the quote unquote healthier corn dippers or corn chips that I will be putting next to my sandwich. Alright, let's do a taste test of my sandwich, which looks really good. It sort of reminds me of when I made the avocado chicken sandwich, but this one is good too because it has the aioli. Now I'm going to try one of my corn chips. We had a lot of extra halal guys sauce, so we made our own halal guys with plant-based meat. This is my attempt at turmeric rice, but I didn't have any turmeric, so good enough. And using naan instead of pita, but looks good. Today I will attempt to make boba guys, boba guys' roasted banana milk for hui. We have all the ingredients. So first I need to make the banana jam. Oh, 
all of our ingredients. They say you really want more ripe bananas. And I've had these in a paper bag for the past two days, but I think this is the best. I think this is the best we'll get. So hopefully this will taste good. You need to first peel and slice these, then put them in here, and then add the brown sugar, the lemon, and the cinnamon. They're all roasted. I am ready to assemble my ingredients. I have the banana jam I made. Almond milk, they say regular milk, but we don't have any, so I'm just gonna do regular almond milk and ice. They also say five ounces. I have no idea what five ounces is. I'm just gonna put it in a tray and hope that it works out. But these are all refrigerated and they're cold, so it should be fine. One cup of milk. How is it? Yeah, it's good. Um, I think putting in unsweetened almond milk tastes a little better than the original almond milk because it is actually really potent. Just a small little scoop has a lot of kick to it. But it's good. It's too much lemon juice? Actually, I don't really taste it anymore See. once you put more almond milk to dilute it. Alright, yeah. so what I did but put a little more almond milk. So it's pretty close to the real thing? Yeah. Went all out for breakfast today. Got hash browns, two eggs, two pieces of sourdough toast, and the leftover halal guys we had a few, actually almost a week ago now, because I still have leftovers. Yay, love breakfast. Very excited.
order on the app. Forgot my camera. For once, boba that I didn't make. So good. So when we got TBT, we also stopped by Uzumakiya. Really good oxtail udon. It looks a little weird because it was packaged, but oh, it looks so good. It smells really good too. Noodle pool. Going on a picnic today. Got our blankets, provisions, snacks. It's finally warm enough for me to wear tank tops and shorts. This romper, which you guys have definitely seen before. But my stomach, eh, I guess you can barely tell. Does it look more poop poofy? Not really, huh? <laughs> I just look like I ate a little bit too much. So we're gonna order Shake Shack, get it to go, and then go to a local park. Shake Shack. We moved it into our own Tupperware just to be safe. We are randomly at this park. Didn't really work out the way I wanted it to because it's not really picnicky areas. It's just a really nice garden, flower garden. And we are next to the road, but oh well. It's still nice. So Shake Shack in the Bay Area has this Golden State Burger. came for the fries. I like these crinkle cut fries. It's a little crispy. We're just gonna head back because it's a little awkward that we're the only ones here next to a road. Since we finished our Shake Shack, we're just gonna go to a local park instead, where at least it's more of an actual picnic-y, grassy area. But the Shake Shack was pretty good. The fries are still crispy and crunchy, and I would say that my Golden State Burger was good. It didn't taste like a traditional Shake Shack burger. It doesn't have the Shake so Shack sauce. So I think if I were to try Shake Shack for the first time, I would rather just get the Shack Burger, or even if I went to go, if I were to go again, I would get the Shack Burger because that's like the iconic Shake Shack Burger. But you can't beat the fries. All right, we relocated to a more populous area. Hopefully, more shade here and it's a little breezier. Okay. I don't feel as awkward. Okay. Yeah. Quarantine snacking part two using chopsticks. Hey everyone. So I just wanted to show you guys this delivery that I just got from Ploma.io, which is an e-commerce grocery delivery service in the Bay Area. So they reached out to me and thank you to them for gifting me this box of groceries. I got to choose what I wanted from their website. And it's basically an online Korean grocery store, which is great during coronavirus because you, sometimes we don't live near the Korean grocery store or it's just difficult to get to. And so they delivered to your door. It came in like three days, which was really convenient. And I also like that they send you text messages to update when your package is arriving so I can keep track of it. So I ordered a bunch of items that I think we would I would enjoy cooking and also some things to just stock up. Like I've been really craving Yingmen, so I was excited to see that on their website to be able to cook it in the future. A lot of their items are not super perishable, so you can keep it for however long you want. There's also Korean snacks and desserts and fruits and things. There's also a 10% off welcome code. I'll put in the description box below along with the link to the website so you can check it out for yourself and see what goodies they have. So my package just arrived. Let's go check it out.
refrigerated items even came in a cool bag. Oh, oh gosh, it's heavy. All right, I'm gonna sanitize all this and then show you what I got. Right, so I've been craving naengmyeon, got a ton of that. One with the spicy, one without. Some acorn noodles, marinated kalbi, extra kalbi sauce. They even threw in a hand sanitizer, which was nice. Soba dipping sauce, kimchi, also seafood noodle soup packet. The Korean ginseng chicken soup stew thing. Bunch of seaweed, they threw in some perilla leaves. And then we have fresh noodles, this plant-based meat, which will be interesting for a barbecue. Veggie dumplings, a bunch of meat. So we got the beef ribeye sliced and pork belly. This will be good to grill. And it's also probably good for a hot pot. Tonight with the Ploma delivery, we're doing kalbi. Pre-marinated, so it's really nice. This week on lunch with Brittany, I made tuna salad sandwiches. So I already pre-made the tuna salad. I bought the tuna in cans and then diced up some red onion, celery, added mayonnaise, Dijon mustard, salt and pepper, and a bit of lemon juice. So that was pretty easy. So I have my lettuce, my cheese, whole wheat bread, and I'm gonna add a little bit of cucumber because I have extra from my lunch last week. Give it a taste. A very satisfying lunch that tastes somewhat healthy-ish and filling. I also have these cauliflower pretzels I got, which are surprisingly good. So it looks like I may be doing it myself then. Here I 
go. It's my turn. Is that enough? Yeah. Okay. I'm crying. I'm done. Oh my gosh. I need to watch the clips again because that was so uncomfortable. I guess, okay, so for sure they only make you do the swabbing, but they give you instructions and they coach you through it because that thing is long. And I thought if I did it myself from the pictures and the videos, it's just like a shallow swab, but no, that is a long Q-tip. And they're like, just keep inserting it, keep going, keep going until you feel pressure. I'm like, dude, I could keep going. And just, ugh, my nose feels like violated. It just is a very odd sensation because most people do not put something that far back in their nose. You're probably not used to it. I guess it would be similar to when you get like strep throat, the test. It just feels so uncomfortable because you're not used to putting like a, like a popsicle stick thingy back in your throat or like a swab in your throat and after you put it in there you have to rotate it 10 times and so that's also really uncomfortable and then you take it out and then you have to put it in the other one like literally my eyes are watering because I wasn't crying but it was just like uncomfortable I guess I just wasn't used to it but yeah so I'm just glad it's over it wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. Well, okay. It wasn't as bad as I thought the long swab was going to be, but it's worse than I thought the short swab was going to be. <laughs> that makes sense. All right, I'm just going to drive home now and get back to work. Well, that's the end of my main vlog. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing what I've been making for lunch and a few of the other activities that I've been having at home. By now, you guys probably know and or should know that I am pregnant. If you don't, then you can click up here to watch uh, my announcement video or even my first trimester vlog. So that's also why I've been trying to be extra cautious and not going out or uh, really seeing anyone even even my own family, trying to be cautious about coronavirus and staying safe. And so this next month, even though there may be some other areas opening up, I will still try to stay at home as much as possible and practice uh, social distancing. So it'll be probably some of the same in my June vlog, but I'll have, hopefully have some exciting things to show you guys. As usual, please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe for more content. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. No one can do it like you. Ooh.